All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I love you all. I love all those who hate me too, uh, but uh, for sure I love those who loves me more. And uh, today our topic is about uh, why and how we should convert to Islam. Now you see, uh, when you study Islam, you will find reasoning, as any religion. And the reasoning is what is told by the God of Islam and the Prophet of Islam, who supposedly he called himself a prophet. One of the major reasons in Islam, uh, as we know, always the God of Islam speak to men. He don't speak really to women. I mean, there is in the Quran, it's mentioned that the women, they will go to heaven. But all the promises, in fact, is made for men. And the first thing you notice in this heaven, it's focus in sexuality. Now, you know, I imagine myself, like in order to understand something, I try to imagine it sometime, or most of the time, actually. Like when I listen to Christ, I imagine myself there. Christ speaking about when I was hungry, you feeded me, I was thirsty, you gave me water, you know, uh, I was a stranger, you took me in. So I imagine myself there, and I imagine myself listening to Christ, and I imagine myself, the poor person he's talking about, and how that can help me and help the society, which means Jesus, he don't want anything from us. In return, the promises of Christ about heaven have nothing to do with this. Have nothing to do with sex, and Jesus, he made it so clear that he and she, they will not get married, they will be the same as angels. So in heaven, men and women are going to be equal, number one, which means both are going to be the same as angels. Man is not better, women is not better. Both of them, they will not have gender, sexuality and they will be free as angels which mean christ he promised you freedom from your needs needs sexuality is need food is need money is need christ he will free you muhammad he make you addicted and you will see here and we will show you that islam is based on addiction addiction temptation and fabrication if I come to you today in the year 2020 and I'm saying to the Muslims and I stand in the middle of Mecca and I say if you believe in my God I will give you a lot of women for sex be honest what you will say if you say to me this is not right well this is what your prophet he did let us get started In order to understand a God, we have to understand his promises. And the promises of a person, whoever that person is, is telling us who is he. You are, and your gift is one. If you come to visit me on my birthday, and your uh, gift to me is a condom and a CD of uh, porn, obviously, uh, you, you know, this is what you think. This is what you like. This is what you love. This is, this is where your heart uh, which means it's between your balls, I mean, between your testicles, sorry. Your heart is there. If you are a person who promised me that I will be in heaven, and in this heaven you are going to give me barbecue. Hmm. Barbecue? Okay. Well, I am now in heaven, and I will get barbecue, and the barbecue is a chicken only. Because there's a different verse in the Quran, it says, لَحْمُ طَيْرٍ مِمَّ يَشْتَهُونَ And uh, the bird meat from what they like. Okay. So now I'm so happy that Allah, He promised me chicken barbecue and fruit. That's so beautiful. That's so amazing. Uh, but it's not, no, no, it's not enough. Then, in this uh, heaven, uh, you know, People there are not busy gossiping and doing stuff against each other because everybody is busy with the barbecue and everybody busy with sex. Around them will be serving, devoted to them, young male, handsome, pretty, beauty, white like pearls. Here you see the mentality of a sick person who is making a promise. Because how I can be God? And yet I promise a human being to be happy that I'm going to make little children unhappy.
According to the Hadith, 80,000 child, at least the lowest reward for a person in heaven, 80,000 little child, little boy. But all of them, they are so white. And here you understand the obsession with the white color. For this is a white supremacist cult. Everything is about white. So now I cannot be happy in heaven unless I have little boys around me practicing a child abuse. Because this is nothing except a child abuse. I will be ridden, living there for eternity, supposedly. And those boys will be serving me for eternity. Here you notice that the one who is making the promise, he is mentally ill. He approves a child abuse and he believes it is the best thing to do. All of this because one person want to sit in the couch and tons of women having sex with him and then the boys are serving him. Additional to that, you need to ask yourself, why he mentioned those boys? Why? What about adult? Hmm? Why Muhammad, he did not mention that in the heaven you will have adult serving you? Why Allah cannot designate adult to serve? The answer is very simple. Muhammad, he is speaking to the Arab. And those are very jealous people. So if I say to them, I will have a, a guy next to you serving you when you are having sex with the wives, the man, he will feel insecure because those are Arab. They are always insecure. They are insecure about anything. And they don't trust anything. And they suspect everything, including themselves. So he promised them little boys in order not to make them don't feel comfortable during sex. He knew their mind, he knew how they think, so he gave them a promise as they wish. So now we have uh, wine. We have whiskey, we have a black label, we have boys, we have barbecue, we have a fruit. Where is the girls? The girls, they are described in the Quran in many verses. In chapter 78, verse number 33, the girls described as boobs. Because there is nothing to mention about women except their boobs. I mean, come on. We cannot promise you a woman who will be decent, a woman who will love you, a woman... No, 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 no. All what you need to know, that I will give you a garden. Inside the garden, there's a grape. Next to the grape, there is women with big boobs. And there is, again, a full cup full of wine and etc. What do you want more? So Allah did not even, or Muhammad, Aka Muhammad, did not even take time to describe for us who are they, those women, how they will be. Actually, he did in the Hadith, but not in the Quran. And we will see how they look like. So those women, they have big boobs. I don't know how many nipples they have, maybe seven. Actually, the, back, the, the, the more nipples, the better. It's more fun. I mean, women with two nipples is not the same as women with seven nipples. We have to agree on that. And here the description of the heaven continue. So we started with barbecue, wine, little boys, child abuse, and now we jump to a garden, have a grape, and then there is women with big boobs. Now, I, I draw many times the boobs for you, but uh, today I don't feel like drawing, drawing them, you know. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not feeling like uh, I want to do my art. And I notice each time I do draw, draw the uh, boobs uh, in my channel, many get tempted because the way I draw it is fantastic. It looks uh, realistic. So I'm not going to draw this. Don't try. If you ask me, I'm not going to do it. All right. And uh, uh, no, uh, uh, please, because I don't want to tempt men. Uh, so they will convert to Islam. Now you might notice that the one in the in this side is, is smaller than the one in the other side. The reason for that, brother, because Allah, he gave you different vision. And you can see it in different way. Now imagine this. We have a God. 
And this God is all-knowing. He knows best. He knew what you like. He knew what you hate. And now he is a promise to you. What he promised you? Big boobs. I mean, my heaven cannot be a good heaven unless I have big boobs. All right. What if I like small boobs? Hmm? 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 And how big they are. I mean, this is a very important requirement for happiness. I mean, imagine you are in heaven now, and the women there, she have a small ones. What if a flood happened? What are you going to use as a balloon so you can float in the top of the water? So it's important to have big boobs. They have to be huge. At least you can hide between them in case for security. Now, in different hadith, Muhammad, he said that the women in the heaven, her ass will be one mile, which is not really convincing because I like it, honestly, two miles and, and bigger. One mile is not enough. One mile only, it doesn't make sense. So we have women with big boobs. We do not know how big they are. But if you uh, uh, compare in a relative way to the size of the ass, which is one mile, so I'm assuming that the boobs will be maybe half mile each, which is like a stadium. You know, that's nice. I mean, they are not bad, to be honest with you. The size is okay. I wish they are bigger, but eh, it's okay. What we can do? Maybe Allah, by the time he will change his mind and he will abrogate this verse because Allah always abrogates verses. He changed his mind as he changed in his panty. <clears throat> then the description of heaven to convert us to Islam continue. What else? Hmm... What else? What else? Let us see what else. The Prophet of Allah, he said, I swear by Allah, Muhammad, when Muhammad he swear, it's mean a, a, a big thing happening. There is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 72 wives, 72 only. I mean, what's wrong with you? What if I am a person who can have sex with 1 million? 72, what they will do to me? I eat 72 dish of salad before even I say hello. Only 72? No. Two of them from the Huris. Two of them only. What happened? Is Allah short with women? And then 70 from the inheritance from people of hell. If, 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 if. So now if we are Zakir Naik. Zakir. Zakir Naik. Where is your phone number, Zakir? He keeps changing his phone number, running away from me. Christian Prince, I told you don't call me. Uh, Zakir, like, hold on. How you know it's me? I know it's you. Nobody call me to this number except you. Because it's a very sacred number. Okay, so if it's a very secret number, why you post it in Facebook, you idiot? I did not post it in Facebook. This is one of my who he put it there. Uh, one of the whore and what the whore is doing there I can tell you please tell us I can tell you come on Zakir just tell us man what happened I can tell you Zakir Naik are you doing like boom boom stuff I can tell you I'm telling the topic uh, Zakir hold on now those whore uh, uh, you know uh, can you really satisfy them exactly I can satisfy them because the prophet he promised me that I will have a main member which would not going to be flooded he will be what flooded uh, 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 don't spit at me, man. Let me open the umbrella. So the Prophet, he promised you that you will have a male member which will never be flaccid. What does that mean? I.e. I.e. soft or limp. Are you stupid? Even the word you don't know. You don't speak Arabic. You don't speak English. A bunch of bones together. I don't think even you can have one woman in your bed. What are you talking about? First of all, if Allah, he promised me, Allah will make me stronger. And Allah will give him Viagara. He will give you what? Viagara. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is true. The Prophet, he invoked Allah and then he sent him a dish called al Kufait, and he ate it and he get the power of 40 men. Is that true? Exactly. And this is very awesome hadith. And the Prophet, when he invoked Allah, he sent him a dish of kebab and he ate it and he get the power of 40 men. Uh, Zakir, how the Prophet, he noticed that he have the power of 40 men. Like, did they have a race in Mecca? Like, they brought women and they brought Muhammad and uh, other men, and they have like a race who can do boom, boom, more. Exactly. Ah, 
so now if we close our eyes we imagine Muhammad between like 70 80 men and all of them they have women in front of them and they are doing boom boom all of them they get tired except the Prophet correct exactly he did not only get tired he never get tired and not only that he was doing the power of 40 men yeah. how many women you think power of 40 men as an example Arab are very powerful so if a man he can do three women the Prophet he had the power of 40 men that will make him 120 women in one hour mean your prophet really 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 is a rabbit Zakir Zakir okay Zakir he hang up on us nothing new now as you see the Muslim they will say to you this hadith is da'if da'if mean Islam is not reliable which means Islam is a fraud there's tons of fraud stories about the Prophet and the Muslim they agree that they are fraud making a fraud but hadith is accepted even if it's da'if hmm. what about this one another description by the Prophet and this is sahih the Prophet he described that the first group of heaven will enter the heaven Allah will make them so white it's very important to be white very white you know the Quran says the day Allah will make faces white and faces black hmm? let us uh, show the verses chapter 3 verse 106 chapter 3 verse 107 is speaking and there's more verses actually but I'm just showing you an example speaking about Allah will make people faces white those are the faces of Muslims all Muslims will be redneck all of them extremely white to make you understand what white we are talking about la, 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 la. You know what all my dream I wanted to be black honestly I mean look at this I am single nobody want to talk to me if I'm a black trust me a lot of women they want to date me me and now you want to make me black white again I mean come on for for the sake of Allah Shane make me black man what's wrong with being black why everybody have to turn white so you go to heaven before you go to heaven if you watch there is a video it's called description of paradise by dr imam whatever his name daramalli he said before brother before you enter the heaven brother there's two angels waiting for you brother and they will give you a drink of water to drink one will make you so beautiful like prophet joseph white 33 years old like ether and the other one brother is going to clean the brother well what will clean you you will have the area so the water is the fountain of youth is going to make you in certain age in certain look and you will become so white why to the point you will not believe it let us see how white we will be read carefully the Muslim who enter heaven they will be so white and their wives in heaven they are extremely beautiful okay how they are beautiful uh, Muhammad said for they will neither in uh, heaven material okay and then every one of them will have two wives from the Huris who will be so beautiful pure and transparent stop I heard about transparent government. I heard about transparent clothes. I never heard of a transparent woman. Explain to us, Prophet. Or Zach and I. Listen, friends. I will give you an example. If you have a woman and she's walking in front of you, what do you see? Uh, I see the women. Exactly. But according to the Prophet, in the heaven of Allah, you will see the bones even inside the bones I will see what the bones 
uh, 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 Zach did you not I, I start, start speaking like you now I will see what the booth thank God I'm not a dog otherwise I would go crazy so I will see the marrow of the bones of their legs exactly and you will love it hey hold on the marrow of the bones of their legs will be seen through the bones and the flesh is that true Christian breath that is super powerful and super beautiful and actually I'm excited already in other language I'm horny okay, Zach and I don't do anything now don't get horny now hold on but come on wait until I hang up with you so seeing bones of women through the flesh and the marrow will make you horny why is that man are you a doberman or german shepherd or what did you breathe in your language you don't understand and because you are a foolish and you are a stupid man and you will never understand this this is very beautiful actually i'm going to show you a picture of how those women look like hmm? let us see how those women look like brother a uh, brother how is you understand entire hey, brother it said hello for you okay brother now let us get your prophet busted listen carefully brother it's so beautiful to the point brother you will see it like this let me show you Ta -da -da -da. Ta -da -da -da. the beauty is coming Zach and I will show you life images of women in heaven mean wow I cannot believe it this cannot be true Zach and Mike, this is the picture we will have for the women in heaven exactly uh, <clears throat> and we will see it like this and even more true um, don't you think that this is like too much Peter Prince, I can feel you. I can feel it that you are getting hot already. Uh, you, what are you talking about? I'm getting not only hot, I'm getting crazy, man. I'm going to get married as soon as possible. This is too much. This is so beautiful. This is, wow. Look at this possession, brother. Uh, Zachar Naik, did you get those pictures from heaven? In fact, Allah, he described them for that in the hadith. And this is how it is in the hadith. Uh, and they are, we going to wear shoes like this? Not exactly. But this is it to make it close to your mind because the truth of the women in the heaven is going to be see through too, and those are not see through. Ah, everything is see through the belly, three th through, see through the ass, three. Th uh, uh, did I say ass? I should not say ass. May Allah ask you, Zakir Naik. This is how the women she will be in the heaven of Allah. Now we understand all the reasoning to convert to Islam. How in the world you will not convert? What's wrong with you? I mean, seriously, think about it. If you don't convert yet, you don't know what are you missing. Islam is a very logical religion. It's not meant for a bunch of fools who lost their mind. Absolutely not. Only wise people, they will accept the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad. And I don't want to forget that the Prophet, he mentioned not only how they, you will see through, uh, he mentioned to us uh, that those women uh, uh, the description what is inside their private part it's very important brother to describe for us brother how their private part situation because a brother imagine you get a woman and her private part is not what you like brother so the Prophet of Allah and his, uh, his God, Allah, he described for us the private part situation. And brother, look what, the, what Allah he says. First of all, brother, we will go up. From every kind of a fruit, there is pear. Like what the heck? Two apple, two orange, two banana. If, 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 this is too much. And why only pear? What if I like to eat the three of them? Eh. Welcome. Hmm? In the heaven, brother, there is two springs of water, one to keep you youth and one to keep you white. And brother, from every kind of a fruit, Allah will give you two. Two orange, two lemon, 
to apples and you go for you know go on and the brother you will be reclining brother reclining upon the couches lined with silk brocade and actually the silk is made in iran it's called istabrok brother i will be reclining there brother yes brother that's so beautiful i am reclining and there is a bunch a thousand of boys around me okay hold on how many thousand of boys uh <clears throat> let us see you know because a christian prince he did not really show us how how many let us see how many how many Uh, by the way we will be live on air right after we finish here in the other channel in my quality of life channel for christians to join us in a nice conversation uh, let us see mean daif daif brother daif everything is daif in this religion the list of people in paradise in possession the one with 80,000 servants and 72 wives okay hold on hold on hold on all those are kids and they are white like pro 80,000 little child in the heaven of Allah a brother and the brother you will live in a tent Muhammad the Bedouin man he think everything is a tent the heaven have a tent, but the tent of the heaven is made from pearl. How big this tent? 70 by 80 miles. Very huge. And brother. And brother. Read with me, brother. The distance, actually, in this hadith, the distance between the tent side is the same distance between Yemen, the capital of Yemen, and the capital of Syria, which means more than a thousand two hundred miles, which is nothing, not a big deal, really. I mean, not much. This is only the size of your tent. Hmm. I don't know. I think the tent is so small to fit with women, her ass is one mile. Ah, that's explain why it's so big. If the ass is one mile, the man tall is 90 miles. And the women, she is going to be 30 miles. You can see the description and reference in my book. You know, Sex and Allah. Go and read it. So, you will find that the stent kind of is small. The man will be 90 miles. The girl, she will be 30 miles. I mean, I feel sorry for this man. In order to kiss her, he had to bend down like a rabbit. I mean, anyway. So, here it says, and, uh, <clears throat> All the Muslims in heaven, they will be 30 years old, brother. All of them. Whoever die and he enter the heaven, he will be young or old. He shall go back in paradise 30 years old. This is for the men, not the women. All right. And they will not increase in that forever. Likewise, likewise, people in fire. So even in fire, you will become 30 years old. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, we have a good description of the heaven of Allah. Why in the world your people are not converting? Be honest. What do you want more, Zegzi? more than this hmm? don't you want to have women they are so white this is not white enough by the way we showed you i mean you have you are going to see no flesh you will not see her lips actually <laughs> you will see only bones bony bones that's so beautiful i cannot resist the temptation as an arab reading this in arabic in my own language and not to convert to islam why Allah did not promise us women like those? I mean, what's wrong with those women? No. The women Allah, he promised, is totally different. You will see the marrow of their bones, which is actually proving scientifically to be so beautiful. 
and so is XC. Actually, you know, for me, I cannot keep those pictures on the screen. I mean, women who you can see their bones, because I am afraid I will be blamed in the judgment day for getting men tempted. Or many convert to Islam. Because, I mean, look at this. Look at this. So beautiful. By the way, if any of you fit with this description, please contact me immediately. I'm looking for a wife. If I can see through your bones, uh, this, this way I will know who ate my sandwich. Like, hello? You marry a woman, you go to the fridge, who ate my first sandwich? I did not eat it, so who ate it? But there's no way to know. That's it. It's over now. It's there. But by having such a genius promise by Allah Prophet and his God, now we knew what is inside. Even your credit card. Women, they take your credit card and they hide it between their breasts. Hello? They cannot do that no more. Because now you can see what is not only between the breasts, you can see even to the other side of the wall. Genius. Extremely genius. We cannot avoid anymore the truth and convert to Islam. It is time. It is time to buy an X-ray machine. Because obviously we have heaven already. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I do not know what to say. I'm out of words because simply I'm focusing in the picture and I'm getting so excited. Let me drink something. Or something drink me. Not sure which one you can do first. Drinking something and something drink you. Because whatever you drink, you cannot take your eyes away from this beautiful lady. And I wonder what is the size of her shoe. I don't know if she is 30 mile tall. I'm thinking maybe her shoe is like maybe seven mile. Not big. And uh, oh boy. I feel like I want to sing actually. But I cannot sing. My voice is not coming after I saw this. That said, something holding me from my neck, saying, convert, take shahada now. Uh, it is time to convert. I'm sexy and you know it. What is this? Hmm? It's so beautiful. It's so amazing to convert to Islam. Hey, my friend, the one who is posting in Youngstown, Ohio, why you don't go and make a website and just publish all the information you know about me, supposedly, so people can laugh at you? Coward potato. You are ashamed of your God. You have nothing better to say. At least it shows a better town, you idiot. So look at those Muslims. They cannot answer us. They cannot refute us. Christian plans. Christian plans. Ah. Muslims, they are making videos that I have fake Muslims calling me. All of you are fake. Your prophet is fake. Your heaven is fake. Your Allah is fake. And you don't even have a penis. And the proof in the hadith, when the prophet, he invoked Allah, asking him for dish kebab, shish kebab, so he can have sex with Aisha. How in the world this is going to happen? Have you ever heard of a prophet of God? invoking his god and his god he went to his kitchen and then he cooked for him a dish of shish kebab and he sent it to him and then the guy he got the power of 40 men you muhammad and you allah and those who follow him all your penis uh, or i mean uh, sorry all your brain is in your penis oh sorry hold on it doesn't work this way what brain they don't where is the brain i mean who in the world have a brain can't believe in this did I say the word the brain? So my friend, 
we gave you the reasons to convert to Islam. Some of the reasons, not we cannot uh, uh, we cannot comprehend how many reasons there is. But this is some of the reasons, and obviously they are also beautiful. I advise you to convert to Islam immediately before the X-ray offer is expired. Because if this X-ray offer is expired, then you will be sorry and you will wish you did not miss the show. Now, we will be live on air soon, actually, supposedly in 15 minutes, but I will take a little break before I go. All right. And this is the link for those who like to join us there. <clears throat> and remember, there we don't talk about the garbage of Muhammad. There, our topic is different. Uh, actually, the title should be a, a Christians with no borders. You see, I put the word nor. And this is because I am educated in Arabia. Very good English. So Christian with no borders. This is the title of the video we will have. You are welcome to join us, invite your friends. And uh, supposedly in 15 minutes I will be live, but maybe I will uh, extend maybe five minutes more or something just to uh, make some tea and uh, uh, relax my throat. And we will start again there. Please join us. Everybody is welcome. And again, we pray for the Muslim to see the truth. We don't hate them. We will never hate them. Never hate the Muslims. They are victims of the stupid liar Muhammad. But always remember one thing. I want you to repeat this, all of you, to remember it. If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Hmm? I mean, this is the promises of a fool. If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? That is a good question, isn't it? This is a promise of a foolish man, stupid man, trashy man. He cannot even be considered as a man. He's a kid. So how a trashy man like this can fool you? If he can, shame on you. Join us. We will be in the other channel soon. And this is the link again for those who care. Everybody is welcome. And we will be happy to have you. Thank you all, and this is was a Christian Prince with you, just saying hello through the X-ray machine. Excuse me. See you. God bless you, and see you in the other channel in a few minutes from now. Take care. Christ is Lord. Islam is exposed. And don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. Bye-bye.